Hello there everybody, this is Graham, also known as The Collector 75 and welcome back to another Transformers review. Um, this time I am doing a Generation 1 Browning KO. Uh, Super Predaking actually put me onto this uh, toy in fact. Um, and I didn't, actually, didn't even know it was coming out or anything like that. And I watched his video and I had to ask him where he got it from because I want one. Because the only um, Browning version I've got is another KO. Uh, but that's in a, it's in different colours and the arms will put around on the round on the round on oh, I can't even say it on the wrong way round. Um, I think I did a video on that one quite a while ago anyway. Um, but this is a an official Browning, if you will, uh, version. Yeah, I think I've probably said that right. I don't know. Anyway, um, they did their own sort of like box for it as well. But you might be mistaken into thinking this is like a um, kind of like what is it the, uh, the recent six shot by was it Mastermind Creations? Like you might be thinking it's got all artic articulate, great articulation and everything, and looking at the artwork, but um, it's not. It's just the original G1 toys. Even it has his tech specs, but it doesn't have a bio or anything. It's just in a brown cardboard box, but with some great artwork on the sides and everything. Um, yeah, so this is what you get. This cost me, I think it was 40 quid uh, with postage, and that was from a site in America. I can't actually remember the site, but I'm sure. Um, I think it was Aces Toys, actually, thinking about it. Uh, but yeah, they sent it to me. This is the, there are two versions. You can get the other version where it's got red on the inside. Anyway, so we're going to open it up. Opens up fairly simply, like that. And inside we have, once we put the box, to the side, we have um, polystyrene box. We all remember these from the 80s. We don't get them too much these days. Uh, it's got Browning M1910. Don't know what exactly what that means, but there we go. And you do get an instruction booklet, not a very well done one. Um, and then you get a sticker sheet. For some reason, it does come with two sticker sheets. One slightly different from the other, and does give you the option of having them as an whatever or a Decepticon, depending on who you, who you prefer, really. Um, yeah, other than that, it's alright. I put the stickers on mine, as you can see. But like I say, that's the other sticker sheet. There are slight differences. I'm not exactly sure why. Anyway, let's get on to the figure itself. So you get that, and then you open this up, and then that's obviously how the figure comes to you. And it's pretty damn good, actually. I'm going to take the guns out. Uh, the little missiles are still on the sprue. I might get around to taking them off. I might. I probably won't, to be honest. No real reason. Just the fact that <laughs> I can't be bothered. <laughs> To be honest. Uh, anyway, right, so we're going to get the figure out. He does get a little stuck in here. Put that to one side. And then obviously he is slightly mistransformed already, so we've got to transform him just into robot mode. We're going to stick with the robot mode and then go into gun form for this particular video. I don't usually, uh, but just can see I'm taking him out of the box. Uh, you can put these guns in his arms. He does have the standard G1 articulation in the fact that you're lucky that the arms move. And that is it. Now then, you can hold these guns. Um, his arms do move, but they're just very, very stiff, which is always good. And it's a very, very great quality for a KO. Um, you can hold them like that, which is pretty good. And then you can sort of put them in here, but they, these ones don't fit. On my KO, the... Uh, the holes on the top of his shoulders there do allow it to fit in. These would even very slightly shaving or just re-drilling the hole out slightly just to allow it to fit in. Right, there we go. I'm just going to put this bun back. Now this hand does fire out. Um, will it fire? Yeah, there you go. That's its uh, little gimmick for this this thing, this 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 little thing really. Um, as you can see. There's the head sculpt. It's not too bad, really. I mean, he, he does suffer, to be honest, some articulation problems. The legs are a particular problem. Um, but other than that, he's all right. He's a very cheaper version of Megatron, to be honest. Um, but he's, he's not that bad, really. And at 40 quid, um, you can't really say no if you wanted a half-decent browning toy, really. Because I wouldn't pay, like, two, £300 that the original goes for. Um, I would have a long time ago, but these days I probably just wouldn't, to be honest. Um, right, we're going to transform. It's got a very simple transformation. Now, um, if you was to buy an original one, or at least the KO one, or a second hour one, whatever, uh, these clips here at the front 
Um, is there one at the back? No, I think there's some other little slight pegs just here on his knees. These are nearly always broken due to mistransformation, but we're going to try and avoid that. First of all, we just flip these around. Then we are going to rotate that around like that. Close the feet back up. And then rotate the legs around. Just so. And these don't actually peg in together, which I would have preferred if they did, but they don't. Um, then we close up the chest cavity. Now this little peg is going to go into there, allowing it when he's in gun mode. I think I do that one first. Yeah, there we go. So you close it up like that. Now you don't close this one up just yet because of these little pegs down here. What we do is we close the legs up. And then the little pegs, you're probably not going to be able to sit, but they're just now in there. And then when you close this up, it actually does close around those little pegs. There we go. And that holds the legs uh, in place, which are now obviously the little gun handle. And then we have a little browning gun, which is pretty cool. They do ship it in um, robot mode, which obviously, um, which is damn handy to uh, get it through customs and everything. Um, now then, if you was to take one of the little um, bullets off that and push it in there, I'm going to demonstrate with his hand. Hold on. Put that in there. Now when you push the trigger, it should fire. There we go. Which is pretty cool. Um, but it's, it's actually really good. It's a great little KO. And if you're looking to add it to your collection, um, this, this KO is um, a perfect, really. Uh, you can't really go wrong with it. Um, don't get me wrong, it's a very G1 toy in the fact that the articulation just isn't there and he looks very blocky and antiquated and everything. But saying that, it's, it's, a, it's actually really good. I'm glad I got it now. I'm glad I saw the video uh, by Super Predaking there. Um, right, so there you go. Um, as a G1 toy, I can't recommend it highly enough. Um, as a KO, well, I suppose some people would prefer the original, but at the price is, you know, what, what do you expect people buying it like that? So there we go. I'm not going to discuss the rights and wrongs. I think we all know the rights and wrongs, really. Uh, right, anyway, this has been Graham, the Collector 75. I shall see you all next time. Bye for now.